So this whole thing, it's, I think it's a lesson to me and to literally everybody else who would want to learn a lesson from it because... I mean, first of all, as an artist, perhaps you're not supposed to pick calls that there are certain calls that should be directed at management. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. This kind of calls falls into that category. So first of all, I'm already just looking at myself like this is all your fault, you know, because obviously, wh why are you talking to Jiggets, someone who you don't? But then again, this guy contacts him and says he's from a friend, a colleague in Ghana, who is like a very also a highly placed um, actress, do you understand? He says, oh, he got my number for that. He has worked with a girl in the past and that they had that working relationship. I mean, ordinarily, I should have perhaps called the girl to say, okay, do you know this person? But I just didn't think, he, you know, he, he didn't just, he didn't, I don't know why I didn't go through with it, but I should have, you know. And that, that's one of the things that even made me, oh, about the only thing that made me like, okay, relax and, okay, so what's up? We kept on talking about, Oh, the script, send the script. The script is coming through this one, it's going through that one, it's doing like a lot of long talk about how the job, how he wants the job to be and blah, 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 blah. So I guess this guy is just calling, texting once in a while about the production he wants me to be involved in. And I'm like, okay, send the script, because that's the first approach. And we go back and forth and back and forth. So that's just, if you're talking about how you even got to, to get my number or whatever, somebody whom I respect giving my number, and that's how I even got to talking to him in the first place. But that was just work at the first instant. Do you get? Yeah. So I just, so when people say, how did you get your passport? How, I send my passports to agents to get my visas or every point in time you have to do things. And that's like an old passport, I think. I haven't really seen this thing because I just literally got back, dropped my bag. The first time I opened my phone, this whole thing just exploded in my face. And I'm like, this is not even the kind of human being in this whole world that anybody should link me with in the first place. Because it didn't take me two weeks of having conversations with him to see through his bullshit. To know that this one is just, and this is just, because there's nothing he said that he followed through. Okay, script will come, script will not come. The next thing, oh, you know now in every, everybody's head, every man's head, when they come to talk to you, everybody wants to throw marriage at you because they feel like that is your problem. Do you get? And the next thing you're swinging from, he wants me to work with you too. You'd like to have a family with me. I'm like, nigga, you're not even making sense. So he, he, the complication and his inconsistency is just, I just blocked him. I didn't have conversations with him up to. But once or twice, he don't call me for video call. That particular day, I remember, I was at the, I was going to the, I was at the airport. Do you get? So that one random call just came and I'm like, I, I never saved his number once. So I'm like, why, why are you calling me on video call? Do you get? And I switch off the call. Why is there no audio on the freaking call? Why do they have an audio? Why is it, was audio not released? And I'm so sick of this. This you say, okay, oh yes, they have videos of me. Please, I want. If I don't see those videos, then you guys are, are just, you know, they just, you're just punching. You're just deliberately doing this to me for whatever reason. And I believe that most of these things are personal. Most of these things have to be personal because bloggers, you know, somebody throws you a story and you don't do no check at all. They send you a muted video of a supposed conversation that you haven't asked. What was the conversation? Why is it muted? People call everybody. I'm a business person. I don't just ask movies. I do all kinds of business. I'm a business person. So I, most times I have to take certain calls even when I'm not supposed to because that's my work. I mean, that could be any part of my life. So, and then... How, like, I had no idea about this, none of these things until two weeks after that time. I think Uche called me. I said, oh, babe, do you, do you know this guy? I sent him a picture of some guy. And I'm like, yes, yeah, so this is the same guy that I spoke that, you know, was, was talking to me about two weeks ago. What's up? Apparently, this same thing he had done, tried to do to me. He did the same exact thing to Uche. Starting from talking about wanting to be in my films to talking about wanting a relationship. Uche saw the right through him and blocked him. Some people are just... I'm too grown in this game for somebody like that to be able to get to me. I mean, how it's so disrespectful that anybody would sit down and say, this is where they want to drag in, in those names. Like, I don't want to be to call anybody names. Do you understand? But I don't want to call him a name. But the truth is, I would rather die than anybody to allow such a name stick, stick on my name. I have worked too hard for, that, for me to let that shit slide. So are you like, to think that's okay. So you that you have not met the guy before physically. I have met never, Suzuki, in my entire life. I have never set eyes on this guy. We spoke a couple of times in a period of two weeks. And I gave my, again, let me even tell you what made me block this guy. It was, like I said yesterday, I was just too tired yesterday. I wasn't 
coordinated and I just couldn't sleep. And I had to just put that out. So he called me. <clears throat> he said, okay. Oh, I said, oh, he needed us to see, to talk about, to conclude on the film. I said, no, I'm not available. I'm going to be traveling. And he said, okay, oh, that is meant to come on that same team that is, you know, the, she is friends with. I don't just want to call names. I don't want to because obviously somebody who's a serial liar would bring in names just to make his story look believable. So that's why I don't want to even give that credit of mentioning anybody's name. So he said, oh, no, that is friends with that person and that is going to go for the same wedding. Okay, now fine. Let's talk when we get there. Okay, let's do. Okay, I'm going to help you get your passport. Okay. And the next thing is, get your, get your ticket. He says, okay, send me your passport page. I said, I can't send you my passport page. This this is my agent. I've spoken to my agent. He has given me a breakdown of ticket. That is it. You can just, you can sort it out with the agent. And he goes, no, that why should, can I give him my passport? I said, I cannot give you my passport page. I have the charts of these conversations. It was at that passport page point. I'm like, you know what? Why the fuck am I talking? But someone won't buy tickets. Well, he must call him. What, what do you? What is your business with my data page that I'm sent to you? Because so the whole thing was already sounding really messed up and stressful. I said, no. I, anybody that knows me knows that's an. I run away from those kind of things. Like I just blocked him. I'm like, why am I even talking to this guy? I just blocked him, and that was it. This is a span of two, two weeks. Literally about two weeks after, this girl calls me to say, oh. Uh, uh, do you know this? I say yes, you. And then that's how I realized that this guy was dating this other lady, and that they had done all that and had all that bohaha, whatever, whatever, whatever. Says I jumped right into this matter because apparently Lucia and I we had already discussed amongst. I realized that we had he, this same guy was did use the same format he tried to use on me on Uche, but Uche was also smart enough to cut him short in the middle of the conversation to also block him. So. You are not, we, we are not, you fell for this shit. That has nothing to do with us. You cannot try to drag anybody else into this. Do you understand? I, I feel like it's absolutely wrong. I mean, there are limits to things that one can take. I would, that's, that's not the kind of person in this my whole life that anybody should put my name and put the person's name. I will okay. not accept okay. that level of disrespect. Okay, okay. I, I think that we should also give, um, okay, like for every media house, whether soft sell or hard sell, you know, um, for what I what I saw on this lover's page, this lover just I think she was trying to say that um, um, the guy has pictures of nine Nigerian actresses, and that the one that paid oh. him was the fact that you were among the la the ladies that nude um, was found on, was found with the guy. So I I I, I think that. Uh, I think for I think for this lover, um, I think maybe she just he or she just thought that oh, Amy should not be in this in this mess. No, that's not the case, Auntie Zuki. Let me tell you what the case is. The case is that particular person and whoever is sponsoring him or her. There's obvious. There's an obvious thing that they have about me that is driving them well. That makes them to look for the stories, no matter how untrue. It sounds, but they will post it there because it's in me. For whatever reason or whatever recognition they want me to give them. It's, a, it's something that has been consistent over time. I'm sure people by now would have noticed it. There have been stories this person has posted that has had no, no basis. For instance, there's so many stories. You remember when they talked about after my friend's wedding? They, there's no kind of unbelievable, like inconceivable stories this people have not put together. And I know there's someone behind it. And I know the person who is giving... Who is trying to use these blogs against me? See, let me tell you the one thing I realized about blogs. So all they need to do, all they need is find one person who has a vendetta against you. And then the, the person keeps calling them with these stories. And they just sit there and become a tool for these people to use as a vendetta against somebody else. A story that you don't even know the backstory. But you accept these stories and you don't care what you do to this person. And there is a punishment. Everything we do in this life, punishment day. Do you understand? When you when you when you do something to people without thinking, what are the odds that this thing is true? What if this is not true? Do you know the psych? Do you know the damage? People don't care. Everybody just wants to clean up and trend and make money or whatever the hell it is they do. Nobody cares about the repercussions or the consequences or the adverse effects. And then you talk about mental health for some people. These are all this, but nobody really cares. So the first thing is that. I, the only thing I can say about the blogs is they will just write what they want to write because they're satisfying whoever it is that is sponsoring them. 
Oh, you, I, I just, when I realized that thing, I gave up on all the blogs and I don't bother about what anybody writes because I just like, you're allowing somebody else to use you in a fight that you have nothing, that you know nothing about and you're heaping punishments and curses on yourself because the truth is that you will reap what you have sown. What's so so if, you keep, if you keep damaging somebody who you have not verified the story and that story is not true and you keep finding ways to try to damage that person, you will answer to it. Not be me, not be your, not be my fights with you. So, so do you think that? Do what, so do you think that what what is happening with with um, just about publishing that thing? Do you think it's personal? Do you think that just about has something? Against it's always a personal story. Somebody out there will just have to reach out to them or give them the story for them to publish, and then they just publish because their own is is about this person. Oh, it will damage, it will ridicule. They wow. Nobody's thinking about where is this person coming from with this story. What are even what are the possibilities that this story could be true? Like, what if this story is not true? Nope, they don't care. They just want to tear you down. And that's why I love God. Because you cannot tear down what God is building. You don't have the, you, you don't have the power to do that. You can only try.